So the first question, three identical pizza shared among seven teachers. So the first thing I do is to form an equation. Seven teachers will share three pizzas. <clears throat> what is fra the fraction that one teacher would get? So we're going to divide by seven. That gives us three over seven. 24 students share 30 liters equally. How many liters? That's important to take note of. We're not converting to milliliters here and a special requirement, answer in a decimal. So we are going to first show that 24 students share 30. So each student, meaning we're interested in what one student had. So that's 30 liters divided by 24. Bearing in mind that these two are multiples of six, we can divide by six, simplify. Improper fraction, turning it into a mixed number. And <clears throat> if you know one quarter is 0 0.25, that is a very quick way to get the answer. So this is the final answer. Remember, special requirements, pay attention to them. Mrs. Tan cut a piece of string into five equal pieces. The string was six meters long. So this six meters will be divided into five equal pieces. We want the length of each piece and special requirement. We want our answer as a mixed number. So five pieces, six meters, one piece divided by five. It's one whole and one fifth. In a box, there are 15 chocolate muffins, 30 strawberry ones, and an unknown number of vanilla muffins. The total is 54. So right there, we can find out the number of vanilla. We can just take the total, minus 15, minus 30. That is how we obtain the number of vanilla muffins. Now, what fraction of the muffins? Now, I like to pay attention to the word off because that points to me the denominator. In this case, the denominator is 54, the total. What fraction of that are vanilla? So we have just obtained the number of vanilla muffins. The required fraction, therefore, is 9 over 54. But the special requirement wants us to find the simplest form. So divide by 9 throughout, and we get 1 over 6. Triangles here are all of the same size. How many more should be shaded so that 3 quarters of the figure? Now, of the figure, we are interested in the total first. So it's now known that it's 3 quarters of 16. And looking at what's currently shaded, that's 5. So how many more do we need to shade? Well, what's 3 quarters of 16? That's 12. So if currently 5 are shaded and we want the end result to be 12 shaded, the number to be shaded is therefore the difference, which is 7. A bottle of fruit punch is made out of this number of liters of syrup and this number of liters of water. So we're going to combine them. So that's an addition step. Now, the total amount of this to make 30 bottles. Okay, let's find what we need for one bottle first. So 25, sorry, 2 over 5 liters plus 3 over 4 liters. And we have to make the denominators the same first. And this is the number of liters per bottle. Now, we want 30 of that, which means we're going to take 30 multiplied by this. Now, if you look at this, we can cancel the zeros, making us take th 3 times 23, that's 69, and our denominator is 2. So just make sure that your final answer is a mixed number. Now, the total is 48. One third of that 38 sold on Monday, half of the same total, 48, sold on Tuesday. How many cards did he sell altogether? Well, for Monday, one third was sold, which is known as 2 6. On Tuesday, half was sold, which is also known as 3 6. So the total fraction that was sold was 5 over 6. But we actually want the number of cards. So 5 6 of the total then. So if 6 over 6 is 48, the total, 1 over 6 is 8. Divide by 6, right? And we are interested in 5 units. So that's 8 times 5, that's 40. Now, there are much faster way to do, ways to do this. I'm just doing it in a very clear way, but slightly slower, but hopefully clear. On Saturday, Alice practiced drawing and playing the piano. She took 5 or 6 hours to do drawing. She took 2 thirds hours more. Now, did she take 2 thirds hours to play the piano? No, that's 2 thirds hours more. So we have to add to the hours spent drawing. So drawing 5 over 6, Piano, whatever spent on drawing, plus two-thirds. Well, denominator six and three, that's easy. Let's turn them both to six and add them up together. So this is on drawing, this is on 
the piano. How much time did she take to practice both? And special requirement, we want a mixed number. So let's add these two quantities together. So 5 over 6 plus 9 over 6, that's 14 over 6. Simplify, divided by 2, and gets us 7 over 3. Convert to a mixed number and write the units down. Mary had some paint in the tin. After Mary used this amount, so that's subtraction, and added, so that's addition, we know 4 litres were left. How many were there at first? Special requirement, mixed number. So for me, I like to draw a before-after diagram. So before was an unknown here. I'm going to show a sub the subtraction here and the addition here, followed by 4 litres left in the end. And now we are going to work backwards. So instead of adding here, we're going to pretend that it wasn't added. So that's a subtraction. Let's pretend this wasn't used. So that's an addition. So we're going to do it step by step. Four holes, we're going to subtract one fifth, one and one fifth. And we're going to add four and three fifths. So from here, you can tell that I converted this to three holes and five over five. Why? Because it's easier to work with this. Look what happens. 5 minus 1, therefore it's 4 fifths. And 3 minus 1 hole, that's 2 holes. And the addition here gets us to 6 holes and 7 for the numerator here. Now because this is an improper at the moment, I'll carry 1 hole to my 6 holes, that's 7 holes. And that's minus 5, we get a 2 holes. Sorry, 2 as the numerator and that's our answer. The figure is made out of four identical squares and one shaded triangle, well, rectangle, I mean. So it's not shaded, but here we go. The side of the square is seven and three quarters. So imagine every side here is seven three quarters. Now, because this side here is seven three quarters, we can say this side here is seven three quarters. And the length of this rectangle is three seven holes and three quarters. So what is the perimeter of the shaded rectangle as shown here in purple? So what we have to do is we are going for... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So how many 7 and 3 quarters are there? A total of 8. So I'm just going to multiply the fractions straight away. So before we multiply fractions, we cannot use mixed numbers. We have to convert to an improper fraction first. Then diagonally, we can simplify 8 and 4. Divide by 4, we get 1. Divided by 4, we get 2. Now, at this point, we'll just multiply the numerators together. So it's 2 times 31, that is 62. Because the denominator is 1, there's nothing to do there, so it's just 62 centimeters as the perimeter. John had some cookies, he ate 3 eights in the morning, so the total units currently is 8. 3 units were eaten. And 1 6 of the cookies, hang on, now the total is no longer 8, it is now 6. And 1 unit of 6 were eaten in the afternoon. So what we have to do, since we are dealing with the same total, it shouldn't be 8 and 6. We should use a common multiple, and that will be 24, the nearest, the smallest common multiple. So let's see. The morning, 3 eighths, let's turn that to 9 over 24. How do we get that? Times 3 times 3. Noon, 1 6, let's get the denominator to be 24, so times 4 times 4. What's the fraction left? So 1 whole minus 9 over 24 minus 4 over 24, that's 11 over 24. And we are told that these 11 units actually represent 22 real cookies. So we can form an equation with this. 11 units, 22 cookies. 1 unit, 2 cookies. How many did he have at first? We are interested in 1 whole. That's 24 units. So 2 times 24 is 48. Peter had some money, he spent two-fifths of his money on a bag and one-third of the remainder. Now this is the phrase that instantly tells me we are using the branch method. Okay, so let's draw a model, shall we? Uh, this is the branch method diagram. One hole at first, two-fifths of that one hole spent on the bag. Now what's the remainder from that? If two-fifths was spent on the bag, what's left behind? Three-fifths. From this remainder, one-third was spent on the shirt. The other branch must form one whole, so that's two-thirds. One-third, two-thirds. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to find the fraction spent on the bag. So that's here, that's two-fifths straight away. What's the fraction spent on the shirt? The common mistake is to say that's one-third. No, that's one-third of three-fifths. So one-third 
of three fifths. That tells me we should multiply that together. That's one fifth. And this is cool because the total is five units up here. The total is five units down here. Since we are talking about three things, back, shirt, and left, this must be okay, two thirds times three fifths. Or you can simply take five over five minus two minus one, you get two units left. So the total must end up being five units anyway. Okay, so we got the fraction of the total for each. And we are just told that the difference between the bag and the shirt is 35 actual dollars. Doesn't that mean 2u minus 1u is 35? So one unit, therefore, is going to represent 35 dollars. So two units minus one unit, one unit. One unit, 35 dollars. Question, how much do you have left? We know that what's left is two units. Therefore, one unit, 35, two units, 70 dollars left. Brunch method, level one. Sorry, level two. There are 1470 students in the school, 3 over 7 are boys. Now, since we are dealing with just boys and girls, if 3 units are boys, then 4 units are girls. And we can find the actual number, by the way. So 3 over 7 of this are boys, 4 over 7 of this are girls. Okay, so let's find the real number, shall we? What's the actual number of girls? That's 4 over 7 of 1470. We're going to simplify by 7 here. Okay, and then times 4 for 840. So you kind of need to know how to multiply fractions with real numbers. Okay, anyway, girls 840. We are told that girls twice as of teachers. That also means teachers half of girls. So whatever the number of girls is, half that. That's the number of teachers. Now we're going to make sure that we add students, that's boys and girls. So that means 14070 students added together with what we have just found, the number of teachers, and obtain 1890 as the answer. And this concludes the Nanhua primary paper. So this paper, I would say, is overall intermediate because 6 out of 13 questions are level 2, so about 46%, so almost half. So well done for coming to the end. Hope you did well.